Uh, no, I was definitely into like the young YA dystopian. Like that was my vibe. Like <laughs> me and my sister went like opening night for Hunger Games. I don't oh. remember. I think she dressed up. I <laughs> thought I did as well, but like she, see, she and some of her friends dressed up. And we were there like opening night, like for pretty much like each movie. So we oh were both God. really big fans. We both read the books. So um, because of that, it was very exciting that, you know, I found out that I got to be part of this franchise because, you know, it's one of my favorite franchises of all time. So yeah, I was big and like even Divergent too. Like I was just, I think that was a good time for everybody in those types of books and that type of material to come out just because, you know, everybody was like really readily consuming it, you know? Uh, well, I tried to keep it like down low because like I, had to, I, I was actually on my way to visit her when I found out I got the role and I got the call, like right before I got on the plane. So I like, kept it under wraps for a little bit, but then uh, I ended up telling her and she, because I kept her updated on the process when I was auditioning and I got my call back. And then so uh, I told her I got it and she was like freaking out. She was like, oh my gosh, like it was it was really exciting. She was super excited. Yeah, it was very surreal. I remember I like got on the plane to go visit her and I was like, just trying to process everything, you know, just because, you know, oh, just like the series meant so much to me. So yeah. it was very cool. Honestly, I'm like, I'm really excited for all the fans to see it because I really think it's like such a great reintroduction to Pan Am and like the capital and like the districts, but in a different light because it's, you know, 64 years before the original trilogy. So it's kind of has like a different feel, like it's post-war, like Pan Am. So it's like a lot more raw, like the wounds of the war are still very fresh. So mm -hmm. the relationships are more, there, there's more tension and like, I know it's a lot like more brutal and like kind of dark in that sense, but I think it's kind of necessary to see because we kind of see like the polished Hunger Games right. in, the, in the original right. trilogy. So it's cool to go back in time and see kind of like the more rudimentary version and like how it got its start. So I think honestly, people who aren't super fans who haven't read the books and people who have read the books are really going to appreciate it. And, you know, really that like kind of be thrown back in the, the world of the Hunger Games and Pandem. I think it's going to be really exciting. I would say that they can expect, I guess, like the the Pan Am they know and love, but um, just in a in a different, just like in shown in a different light. Mm. So like it won't be the exact same thing as you know what they've seen in the original movies, but I think it's different in a really good and informative way that you know gives a lot of like cool and like honestly kind of necessary backstory. Um, that I think a lot of the fans are definitely going to enjoy.